Hey guys, this video is about how to master 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube in a short period of time and to know the solutions by heart. I made all the solutions very simple for the beginners as well as someone who knows how to do it already. Alright, the solutions are very unique and simple patterns. I'll show you easy step by step that anybody can master it by today when you're done. All right. So with this video, you will, you will get to know how to memorize algorithms. So how can you memorize something and retain them in your long-term memory? I'll show you three steps. Okay, three things you must do in order to increase your long-term memory capacity. You know, there are more things to cover, but these three things will do the job for this cube. Okay, first, you need to see the similar patterns and visualize them. This might take time at first, but the more you do, the better you will be. Secondly, you need to organize them into a place that you are familiar with. So connecting is an important factor as well as focusing. And the lastly, review them. Repetition is an important component on anything that you want to master. So again, the three things. The first step is identifying the patterns visually in action that your, your brain activates in a positive way. The second step is or organizing the patterns by putting into a familiar place so that every time you think about the place, you can retrieve them easily. And the last step is reviewing them once in a while. The more often you visit the place, you will retain the info the longer, and hence it will go to your long-term memory and it will stay there. However, all of this will not work efficiently if you don't focus. It wouldn't be effective if you just repeat and repeat without focusing. For every time you want to put info, any kind of information into your long-term memory, focus, visualize the pattern, organize them, and review them in your head. Okay, let's work on your memory system while we are solving this Rubik's Cube at the same time. I've been using this memorization system for a long, really long time. So I really have many things to share. As I make new videos, I'll cover more of the, this system in detail. Before we start, I'd like to review three things for the beginners. As you can see, the cube has six faces, and every face has three things. One centerpiece, four edges, and four corners. The edge piece has two colors, as you can see, two colors. And the edges are formed as cross. So when we are making the cross, the edge pieces are involved. And the corner pieces has a three colors. Three colors. And now, in terms of centerpiece, no matter which way you rotate the cube, the centerpiece will not change the position. So if you take the cube apart, the centerpieces are connected to each other. So the opposite of, the opposite of uh, this white is always going to be yellow, and opposite of green is a blue, the opposite color of uh, orange is red. So it'll be it'll be like that all the time. Now let's talk about the directions. The clockwise and the counterclockwise seems a bit confusing at first, especially with the different layers, it feels awkward. For example, the front layer, front layer seems natural. But for the back, which way do you think uh, is clockwise for the back? Yes, to the left is clockwise. Let's say you hang the clock here. The clock with you know the clock with the hands. So when you hang hang the clock, no matter where you put the clock, the hands of the clock will move to the same direction. The front layer the front layer moves to the right. 
and for the back layers, the back layers moves to the left. And the right layers goes up for the clockwise. But in contrary, for the left layer, you need to move, move it downward for the clockwise. So everything's kind of opposite. And the upper layer will move to the left for the clockwise, but for the down layer, you need to move to the right for the clockwise. Okay, now one more thing I need to mention before we start to solve is that um, the term I use for counterclockwise, when I say prime, when I say prime, that means counterclockwise. It, it means the same. It means the same thing. And also, uh, you see when you see two after a letter, it means a double turn. So turn once is 90 degree, and turn twice is 180 degree. So for the 180 degree, you can turn either direction because it will be the same. Okay, now let's dive into solving the cube. Okay, the first step is the green tea. The top face is green greenhouse. I'm going to say house. This is greenhouse, white house, red house, okay? It's their house. Eventually it's going to be this one. It, it'll be all green. Okay, so for the first step has a three little steps. So at first, you're going to make the green cross. You could make the green cross directly to the green face here. But for some people, it seems a bit hard. hard. So let's do this with, uh, with the easier way. You need to flip the green. You need to flip the green cube to the bottom. And you're going to work on the green cross on the blue face, on the blue house. All right? OK. Let's scramble this. So which color you do first doesn't matter. But we're going to do green face green face first. All right, so we're going to flip this green to the bottom and we're going to find uh, edge pieces of green. We found one here, you can tell, these are two colors. Let's so move to up here. We found one more here. So move to here. Where is, uh, okay, here's one more. Uh, this one, we could move to here, but you don't want to mess this one, so you move this to, to the side so it'll be out of the way and move, move this up here. Where is, okay, here's the bottom. You look for the empty spot. You put that green underneath of this uh, empty spot and move this twice. And you're done. All right, so you have matched one. When you have matched one to the centerpiece, you move to the greenhouse twice, like that, right here. Okay, and yellow to yellow. When you are moving this, don't move uh, the middle layer because you will mess up the one you already made. So move this top upper layer and you match to the yellow and move twice. It will go down there. All right, here we go. Orange to orange, move twice. And this is already matched so twice. All right, so you have green cross matched with the centerpiece, the, the edges. Okay, now we're gonna work on these corner pieces. So when you are doing that, look for the yellow to yellow, see? It matched, matched to um, centerpiece then you know this green should go right here. So you are, you're lined up with the green. However, right now you cannot just move up here because it'll mess up the one you already worked on as a cross. So what you need to do is uh, you just move this to the side for now so it'll be out of the way. Move this down and pick, pick this up, up there. So now you have one piece matching so um, this is almost looking T, but it's not T yet. All right, and this one matching with red. 
right and green is lined up here so you know this should go up here but for now you need to put this to the side so it'll be out of the way and turn this down and pick this up all right okay here it's already matched to white and you know this is lined up this way and move this to the side for now and turn this down and pick this up there one more okay right here is on on the bottom so you this is right side right place because you want that to be empty spot you don't want to put this to here so you don't mess up the one you worked on so now you just turn and turn turn until you see green and then move, move back up there and move this one so you match with the orange to orange and move this green to the side for now so it'll be out of the way and turn this down and pick this up there so now you have green peas all right okay turn this down the green goes to the bottom so now this uh, you worked on step one even though you didn't have to memorize anything you're still gonna put step one to living room that I made a house and you know this uh, six steps if you know your house actually without looking at your house actually you know which one is the living room your rooms and bathroom and it'll be easier however I just made that example so you can visualize them so first step is go to number one first place so first step when you see a living room you want to think about the green the green teas okay so you know what to do with that all right the second step has two algorithms so one goes to the right one goes to the left so like for example for this one you make big upside down T and you are going to put this to the right because it's orange so you need to just put that to there right so in order to do that you need to use uh, use the right algorithm so I made a room for right room right bedroom and left bedroom so used to just put it there so imagine that you're just working on that second layer in there all right okay but for now just look at look at this actually the algorithm is not necessary for this the second second step look at it in order to put this to the right actually you cannot just put it there so you need to put this to the side for now and put this up and back to the where it was and even this you need to back to the where it was and now look at the screen it's the same thing it's, it's like a upside down it, you could work this way and I just you know how to work this right but since we we made upside down let's just do that so put this for now you need to move this to the side so it'll be out of the way and you put this towards there and pick this up here or up, down here all right let's look for one more let's see when you're doing that uh, don't just look for without the blue so you found one right here you match to white to white to the centerpiece so you have a big green tea I mean the big uh, upside down tea and now since this is orange you want to put this orange to the orange right so you're gonna use left algorithm so move this to the right since you want to work you know put it in to the left put this side to the right and put this up here and back to where it was and back to you know original and now you just need to work on this green so you want this to be right here so put, you have to put this to the side so it'll be out of the way and move this to there and turn this and just like that all right okay and this one you need to take it out because um, it's uh, it's not right position or right 
orientation. Okay, so we, since we're gonna use, uh, you need to take this out, you, you have to use the right algorithm. So put this up, 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 put it back, put this back, and you're gonna work on the screen. Okay, and pick this up. So you took it out, so look for that. You are going to put this back in here. So you matched colors. You just need to put it right here. So put this to the side and put this up and put this back. Put this back and you need to work on the screen. Put this green to the side so it'll be out of the way. And put this here and pick this up. Or well done. Okay, one more. We have one more to take it out. Okay, I'm gonna take this out. Oh, yes, and turn. And put this. Okay, where is it? Here we go. Red to red, and you're gonna use the right algorithm. So, for this part, the reason I am not repeating it, I'm not just, just saying it because it's not necessary to memorize. However, I, I I put it there for you to memorize for now. All right, so maybe that's the only, maybe two, two algorithms. You might have to kind of work hard to memorize. But rest, the two, other two of them is not that hard. Okay, move this to the side. Oops, just a second. Move this to the side and up here, back, put this back, and since you're gonna put this green to here, so move, move it to the side, so it'll be out of the way. Okay, and pick this green to here. All right, so second layer is done. Everything's done. So you put that to two rooms, right? And Step three is a blue cross. Blue cross, you are going to look for this pattern or um, images, this shape, upside down L shape. And then other one is a straight line. But for now, let's work on this one. Okay, this one you have to repeat after me. Front, right, up. Right prime, up prime, and front prime. Now you have the straight line. You want that to be, the straight line should be horizontal, not vertical. Okay, now repeat after me. We're gonna do one more time. So front, right, up, right prime, up prime, and front prime. Now you have cross. All right, then. so while you're doing this, just put think just to put that to the bathroom just think about bathroom and then do this green cross right so when you when you're thinking about bathroom green I mean that not green I'm sorry the blue cross blue cross okay so it's there you stick there all right that's how you organize things you want to memorize And the step four is top edges that you want to match these edges. So, okay, you sort of rotate until you have two. Sometimes you don't have it, but when you do have it, like this, it matches, right? And this one is not matched. So when you do have this, you put this to the back and to the left. So one goes to the back and one goes to the left. Then we, we just need to swap this. So sometimes you, ha you might have to do more than once. But this time, it just once will, will be done. Okay, this one is kind of unique. So I wish I could do it twice. But since it will be done by once, I'll just repeat. I might repeat it. Just let me start with it. Okay. Just remember, 
rise and fall, rise and fall. Okay, so rise, turn, turn, fall, turn, rise, turn, fall. And then you just move once, then it'll be done. So just remember that uh, solution, the algorithm, because it's very simple. It'll be, you will use on the last step again. So rise, turn, turn, fall, turn, rise, turn, fall. Okay, so last up, that one is only for this solution, and only this step. So just rise, up, up, fall, up, rise, up, fall. Just remember that. So put that in your kitchen. So kitchen is only right side. Kitchen is right side. You, maybe there's lefties, but a lot of people use um, right hand to cut some stuff. So in the kitchen, right side only. Okay, so you got it. All right, step five. Step five is the top corners. So top corners, look for, let's see, matched one. Okay, this one is matched. All right, at this stage, you are not looking for right orientation. You're looking for right colors, just like this. So you have white, you have orange and blue. So you want every, the corner pieces to be like this. Sometimes you do get, you know, matched one, but this time this is a good example. And the other one is not matched. So this, can you tell? It has no yellow, there's no orange. So the matched one, you want to put this to the side, on the right side. So you're going to hold it when you're actually physically holding it tangibly you are holding the cube then you you touch with your right thumb so uh, put this to the right towards you and right now this this one is like left and right dining room in in the dining room you're gonna put this so you are actually eating with fork and knife so left the left you're going to start with the left. All right. Are you ready? Repeat after me. Rise. Okay, starting with the left. Rise. Turn. Rise. Turn towards the right. Okay. And fall and turn towards the left. And fall and turn towards to the right. So you got it? Rise and turn. Rise, turn, fall, turn, fall, turn. That's in the dining room. All right, let's see. Actually, even now, we gotta do uh, one more time until everything matches. It has no orange, so we're gonna do it again. Repeat, with, repeat after me. Rise, turn, rise, turn, fall, turn, fall, and turn. And now it matches. Okay, you have yellow and orange. Okay, so one is matching, then other will be matching. Okay, now, so that, that was a dining room. And the last step, last step is very similar to step four in the kitchen. But this one is right and left, right and left, okay? You start with the left is only dining room. Okay. So this is living room. Think about right and left. But kitchen is only right. A living room, right and left. So I'm gonna do this together. You're gonna repeat until you finish. All right. Right, turn, turn. I mean the rise, turn, turn, fall, turn. Rise, turn, fall. And rise, turn, turn, fall, turn, rise, turn, fall. Okay. We might have to do about three more times. Okay. You wanna, I am, okay, when I get that 
shape, I will tell you. Repeat after me one more time. Okay, rise, turn, fall, I mean, turn, turn, fall, turn, rise, turn, fall, rise, turn, turn, fall, turn, fall, uh, rise, turn, fall. All right, this is a good shape. So when you have empty, no blue here, then you want to put this this shape to the right. And now you might have to do once or twice, then you are done. I feel like maybe once for now. Okay, repeat after me. Rise, turn, turn, fall, turn. Rise, turn, fall. Rise, turn, turn, fall, turn, rise, turn, fall. Yes, we are done. All right. Okay. So thank you for watching. See you next time.